Alright hey everyone, Mythical Canary here, welcome to my channel. We're playing 60 seconds again, this time we will be doing normal mode on the um, survival mode. Ooh, there's pizza on the roof there. These guys are missing out. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm normally a live streamer on twitch.tv forward slash mythical canary, so feel free to give me a follow over there. Or, you know, subscribe on here on my YouTube channel. Um, this is a post-apocalyptic um, situation based on the Cold War. Cold War. Um, obviously the nukes went off in this reality and um, everyone's in a fallout situation. But I won't bore you with that. Let's start a new game. Classic mode. Back to the survival mode because that's the only one I'm doing. And we'll do the Fat Man setting, which is normal. Um, in this one, we have a randomised two to four family members. So we could look out and get everyone or we only have like a few people to manage. We've got common health issues. We've got some junk in the stock shelter. We've got averagely fragile equipment. That means some things will break. We've got four to six food and water supply. We've got some unwanted visitors and we've got regular trouble. So, well, <laughs> Let's just get straight into this. I do love this game. Um, I don't normally play the um, scavenger mode because it's clunky, it's terrible and it just gets really annoying. Anyway, day one and it looks like we looked out. Wow, that's actually a really good start. Okay, so we have Ted here, the dad, we had Dolores the mum, we got Mary Jane the daughter and Timmy the son. We got the Boy Scout, Boy Scout? <laughs> what the hell was that? Okay, the Boy Scout handbook. Um, the harsh atomic world will cause people to get visibly fatigued after a while. So give us hints every now and again, I don't always look at it though. Got a flashlight, which I will call a torch because I'm English. Um, got a suitcase, which is very handy. We got the portable radio, the rifle, we got five bottles of water and four cans of soup, some bug spray, cards and a harmonica. Day one. Others made it into the shelter just a second before the blast. That was a close one. As long as we're all together, we can make it work down here. We remember hearing canned soup is healthy for you. Our shelves are full of cans. We'll eat from cans. We'll sleep on cans. We'll even talk to cans. Some of us already do. Plenty of water means that we don't have to worry about that for some time. This is the best sock shelter we've ever seen. We've never seen another one, but we're sure this is a good amount of supplies. Well, we don't have the gas masks, the first aid kit, or the little um, the lock, so mm, it's okay. We're not going to ration anything. And because we've got a Boy Scout book, I think they can survive for like five days, so we'll feed them every five days while we have it. There are only so many things you can do in a tiny bunker, so we thought, hey, why not play some games? They're not just for kids, you know. Day two. We played Truth or Dare when it turned out we only kept asking questions and the most common was are we going to eat anything besides tomato soup? We decided that's enough games for now. Mary Jane seems fine today, hopefully it will stay that way. Despite the dire circumstances and all the trouble we are going through, Tibby is being very brave. Dolores is, a f is fine and well, as much as anyone can be fine and well in this tiny shelter. Ted says there's no need to worry about him, he's okay. The contamination of our town is still strong. Scavenging in these conditions could result in radiation sickness. We have no gas masks, so everyone stays put. We woke up today feeling very uncomfortable. It was like someone or something was caught, was watching us. We could have sworn we noticed movements in the shadows. If anything, besides us is alive in the bunker, it's time to teach it who's the boss around here. Let's get the rifle. Day 3 well, everyone seems okay so far. Whatever it was, it's dead now, quite dead. Maybe there's more hiding some. There's more hiding there, but there, but there. <laughs> Maybe there's more hiding somewhere in one of the nasty little holes. We should get Mary Jane something to drink. Timmy has been talking about nothing other than water. He should drink some. If there's one thing we need, it's water for Dolores. All Ted wishes for are a few drops of water. No, we're not. Enough of this plain tasteless water, Dolores is really craving a cup of coffee. Real true blue American coffee, the kind you can drink five cups of and still feel sleepy. 
but where are we going to find that in in this way, son? Well, Dolores' favourite diner is, uh, used to be a few blocks away. Maybe someone should go on a coffee run? But who? We're not sending anyone, it's still irradiated. Crazy people. Day four. We're not going to risk our necks for this. We have more important things on our minds. The cracks in the walls aren't going to count themselves. Mary Jane keeps fainting. We really need to find her something to drink fast. Timmy is in terrible shape. We need to give him water now. Dolores will not survive without water any longer. Ted looks like he's got one foot in the grave. We need to get a drink right now. They can wait one more day, damn it. <laughs> our neighborhood is still highly radioactive. Trips to the surface are a big risk to our health right now. Okay, you're the boss. We never thought we'd live to see a dancing cockroach. We still haven't, but we saw one that was nearly as big as a cat. Good news is they probably scared off any rats in the area. The bad news is they are huge and will probably attack us when they get a chance. Let's use the Boy Scout book. Day 5 That was close. A nest of those glowing books might have been more than enough to drive us into the wasteland. Roaches are the worst, but radioactive roaches? Yikes. Yada yada yada. Ted looks like he's got one foot in the grave. Fine, you can all eat and drink something. Be grateful, guys. <laughs> Our neighbourhood is still highly radioactive. Chips to the surface are a big risk, so nope. It's not easy to be calm in these, in these circumstances. Hopefully we can keep our peace or else we might need to act like wolves. Survival of the fittest and all. Day 6. Oof, the guy account is going. It's hard not to worry considering our current situation. Some days we're still struggling to deal with this shelter life, but we can't lose hope. His fine doesn't need anything, Timmy is on his best behaviour, how long will it last? Life is hard for all of us right now, but Dolores is in a good mood today, we hope it will stay this way. Her say says no need to worry about him, he's okay. Okay, well you guys are fine, so you don't need anything. Still highly radioactive, so we're not going to send anyone out. It has become more and more difficult to breathe in the shelter over the last couple of hours. We suspect there is something wrong with the ventilation. Maybe it got stuck somehow, but how? We need to investigate or we might suffocate. Well, I'll hail the Boy Scout book. Let's fix it. Day 7. Oh, Ted. <laughs> Poor bugger. Using the handbook to research vent maintenance seemed like a fair idea. We figured if it's full of pointers on how to fix things, it must have a chapter on nuclear shelter air filtration systems. Before we could even check, there were, uh, we were invaded by a group of angry mutant insects, which flew out of that cursed vent. Their things hurt like hell and seemed to give us a fever. Oh dear. Mary Jane is feeling safe. Who wouldn't in this coffin-sized shelter? Timmy is on his best behaviour. How long will it last? Life is hard for all of us right now, but Dolores is in a good mood today. We hope he'll stay this way. Ted got sick. Fucking great. <laughs> we can't heal you, so eh, you can eat and drink. Still highly radioactive. Damn it, we need to go on an excursion. Ah, <sighs> it's been a while. We don't know how don't know much about what's happening on the surface. If we only had a chance to tune into some emergency radio broadcasts and learn a thing or two. Well we do, so let's do it. Day 8 We were able to get a weak signal and tap into government into the government's a uh, God, agency emergency. Hang on, let me start that again. We were able to get a weak signal and tap into government's a emergency announcement service. Oh my God. And guess what? Great news. The fallout outside has mostly gone. It should be much safer to travel on the surface now. Thank God. Everyone has to drink sometimes, including Mary Jane. Is there any water? Prefers apple juice. Doris has a drink. Nothing new for Ted. He's the only one who gets food and drink, okay guys? We're not certain about the situation on the surface. The trip could be risky, but we could really use the supplies. So Ted is happy to risk his life in the waste. Dolores is confident she will, will survive outside. Mary Jane is more than ready to go out and scavenge. Timmy can do it. Timmy can go to the wasteland. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, Timmy, you can go. I'll just give you some food and water now. We've been busy since we got to the shelter, but there is still much to be done, like trimming that shrubbery in our yard. That's definitely something we want to do when we get out of here. I think that shrubbery might be dead, guys. 
Day 9 Playing far ahead is usually a good strategy, but for now we should be more interested in our plan for water rationing. Mary Jane keeps fainting, nothing new to report on Timmy, Dolores will not survive. Um, Ted is still sick. Yeah, that can wait one more day. Right, we will take Timmy and we will give him the suitcase. Oh, the suitcase, please. There we go. Thank you. Off you go. Day 10. Mary Jane keeps fainting. Timmy went out to the wasteland. We don't know what we'll do if he doesn't come back. So he took the suitcase. Alright everyone, you get something to eat and drink. Everything is shaking, cans are jumping all over the place. If this had happened after we drank that delicious wine for supper a few weeks back, it would seem perfectly normal. It's either another nuke or a quake. Ugh, oh dear. Rest in peace, Timmy. <laughs> either way, we need to grab something before everything gets smashed to pieces. Well, we'll take the radio. But there are three of you, you can save them all anyway. Idiots. Day 11. But we have the Boy Scout book, so maybe we'll get that fixed. Earthquake or not, nothing is going to stand between us and our daily dose of radio static. We were able to grab it before it could fall down and get smashed. Something else might be broken, but we won't know until we've cleaned this place up. Minus one torch. Mary Jane is feeling safe. Who wouldn't in this coffin sized shelter? Dolores is quite calm given the situation. Something should be done about Ted's sickness. Well, I can't do anything. You're running out of food. There's never a good time to go out into the radioactive wasteland, but it seems this will become a necessity in this new world of ours. We thought it would be a good idea to try to make this happen sooner rather than later, and planned a trip outside before we could make the third step beyond the shelter doors. An unknown creature started growling at us in the darkness. No! We don't have the bloody light! We had only moments to decide what to do. Well, I know what that is, and I'm not going to do anything because oh, the torch would have been perfect. Never mind. Day 12 In other circumstances we might have risked battling a beast in the darkness but for some reason we felt that was not to our liking so we screamed and screamed with terror. The creature was probably more afraid of us than we were of it, it left in a hurry. Oh dear. Mary Jane is feeling safe, who wouldn't in this coffin sized shelter, life is hard for Dolores, Ted hasn't recovered from his sickness. We wish we could just leave sitting down here with barely anything to do is driving us crazy. Day 13 and Timmy's back. What have you brought, mate? Not much. Great. <laughs> Hopefully the time to leave will come soon. We were so afraid for Timmy, but he came back from the wasteland and is safe with us now. At least he brought back the suitcase. The police station was still standing and we found a few officers who were still alive. Well, they didn't look like the ones we remembered, but they all have uniforms and badges, so they must be some kind of replacement cops. The building was mostly destroyed, but they made the best of it and set up their operation in the basement. They even painted some walls with a bunch of morale-boosting slogans like New Order and The World Is Ours. They had plenty of water in their stash, they were acting very nervously and immediately consented to sharing when asked. Then they all started exercising. Plus one water. An ammunition pack was lying just outside of the station, plus one ammunition. So, water, hungry, tired, thirsty, blah blah blah, there isn't much going on with Ted. Eh, I'll just leave him for now. We had thought phone calls were a thing of the past after the atomic bomb obliterated everything in our little town. However, a phone booth on our street survived the bombing somehow, and it seems to be ringing right now. We should send someone to answer it. Off you go, Mary Jane. Day 14. When we answered the phone, we could clearly hear a gasp of relief from the caller. They introduced themselves as survivors from a nearby town of Hill Valley. We had started exchanging information when the call was cut short. Something must have gone wrong on their side. We hope they will get back to us. Nothing made us happier than the sight of Mary Jane returning to the shelter from the surface. It's impressive how well Mary Jane is handling the situation. She looks fine today. Timmy should eat something. Doris will not survive without water. Blah blah blah. Eh, you can wait one more day. Or, mm, yeah. The state of the wasteland remains unknown to us. Maybe we should risk it and go out. After all, you only live once. <laughs> Ted seems to be in really good shape for a trip. Really? I don't think so. 
The virus is confident she will survive. Mary Jane is feeling excellent. Okay. We can... Wait. Hang on a moment. No, we didn't see them. Okay, that's good. <laughs> we can keep sitting on our backsides here in this tiny little bunker or we can start thinking about getting away as far as possible from this radioactive wasteland. Who would have thought, um... What was I doing? Who would have thought the Reds would ruin such a lovely neighbourhood? We could do it on our own. Uh, the escaping part, not the ruining part, of course. However, there might be someone out there who can help us. Let's keep our eyes and ears open. So we use the radio. Day 15. We knew it! The government has not fallen and they're coming to save us. They didn't give exact dates in their radio transmission, but we're sure they won't keep us waiting for long. They said they will be in touch in a couple of days and told us to await further instructions. Mary Jane says she's fine and doesn't need anything. Timmy is very hungry and prefers apple juice, but right now we should get into water. Doris won't survive without water, and where is water? Water, 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 water. Ah, shit. Ah, whatever. <laughs> Who were taken outside? I can't remember. Eh, uh, we'll send Dolores, whatever. Take the suitcase with you, mate. Off you go. Bye! Day 16. Ted, you better not fucking die. <laughs> I should have done that, Mary Jane, shouldn't I? Oh well. It's always better when things are calm. Luckily, nothing new happened to Mary Jane today. Lewis Knight needs some food. It's today or never. Timmy isn't feeling very well. Dolores is on her way to the surface. Let's hope she makes it back safe and sound as she took the suitcase. Ted keeps coughing and coughing. Oh god. We were never huge fans of mushrooms, but with a colony of them growing on one of the walls, we changed our loyalties. We're all about mushrooms now. Shall we eat them? YOLO. Might as well. <laughs> Day 17. Oh, bye Timmy. I don't think you like that idea. Day 17. Hunger drove Timmy insane. <laughs> when he realised we won't be able to provide for him, he snuck out and never returned. Those are delicious. Our only concern is that they were growing in the dark. And now we are too far... Uh, um, we are two for that matter. Alright, oh, yeah. Glowing in the dark. And now we are two for that matter. Okay, so they're glowing. Mary Jane says she's fine and doesn't need anything. Either we get Ted medicine or we never see me eat another can of soup. Hurry. Uh, well, you can have water. <laughs> it's very difficult to prepare for unforeseen consequences when you don't see them coming. Well, they are unforeseen by definition, so that does make a lot of sense. We can't say we were prepared for what happened. Day 18 and someone slept, so that's okay. Living in the past is not wise in our current situation. We need to think of today and tomorrow. Getting something to drink for Mary Jane sounds like the right idea. Either we get Ted some medicine or we'll never see him eat another kind of soup. Hurry. Well. A uh, sleazy looking trader carrying an equally scruffy bag. Nope. <laughs> Sorry. I normally read that, but not going to do it anyway. Day 19. Our grandparents always told us to never buy anything sight unseen and we're not about to start now. Gone on the times of yard tales, we can manage without whatever junk is in that mysterious bag. It's impressive how well Mary Jane is handling the situation. She looks fine today. Did we get Ted medicine or we never see him eat another kind of soup? Hurry. Our supplies are scarce and our morale is low. You can almost smell the desperation in the shelter. We're pretty sure there's a small group of survivors nearby, mostly old folk from the retirement home. Oh god, this choice again. It shouldn't be hard to borrow some of those supplies. They're old anyway, and we need them more. Yep, why not? Go for it. <laughs> We're doomed anyway. Day 20. We went, got what we needed, and came back. We're sure that group will do just fine. Most probably, yeah, absolutely. I've got one padlock. Eh, not worth it. It's always better when things are calm. Luckily, nothing new happened to Mary Jane today. Either we get Ted some medicine, blah, blah, blah. Eh, uh, actually, yeah. Great, you guys can have something to drink. Mysterious sounds are coming from our radio, but they're hidden behind a ton of static. Do we want to tinker with it a bit and find the right frequency? It could be something important, or it could be the opposite. Only one way to find out. Mm, no, I don't trust him not to break it. <laughs> Yay! 
Yay, Dolores is back. Oh shit, and Ted is dead. <laughs> god, <laughs> Mary Jane just went nuts, oh dear. Oh god, okay. Um. Well, well at least I have a first aid kit. Just a bit late for him, unfortunately. Bollocks. <laughs> that is so badly timed. Oh my god, I'm sorry, Ted. <laughs> Ted has been sick for far too long, and he was too weak to keep going on. He passed away in his sleep. Oh no. Tinkering with our precious radio sounds like a bad idea. Let's just hope it wasn't in anything important. We were glad to see Dolores come back safely from the wasteland. Before leaving our neighbourhood, our expedition noticed a group of scavengers. We didn't know them. Yep. Um, they didn't have any reservations about scavenging the area clear. We decided to steal one of the numerous backpacks they had while they weren't looking. The sound of glass hitting glass while running with a backpack could only mean one thing, water. We've got two water bottles. At the bottom of the backpack, underneath a dozen or so pieces of women's underwear, we found the first aid kit. Yay! Damn it, we really like that suitcase. Well, it's gone now. <laughs> Mary Jane went nuts, you're telling me. Doris would really love to eat something. Doris' sanity is questionable. Doris is pretty fatty. Doris is really tired. Screw it. Just drink everything. It seems awfully quiet outside. Maybe it's safe, maybe it's not. We won't know until we go outside. Off you go, Mary Jane, because you're our last hope and you're probably gonna run away anyway. One of the cupboards in the shelter was a bit shaky, so we pulled it out to give it a new home. In the process, we discovered a secret door. Where does it lead? No idea. Let's find out. Day 12. 12? 22. Why did it say 12? Oh shit, okay. Dolores is... Starving, sick, crazy, tired, and fatigued. Mary Jane is hungry, crazy, and fatigued, and Ted is dead, and Timmy buggered off. We figured the best way to be sure nothing and no one jumps us inside the mysterious room was to bash the door open and start firing. When the smoke was gone, we were able to assess our operation. Um, the room was empty, we hit nothing but walls, and we barely dodged one ricochet gun bad. Mary Jane's out because she's looking for food. Mary Jane is pretty fatigued. Dolores has barely any strength left. If she doesn't eat tonight, she will not last till morning. And Dolores got ill. Well, I'm sorry. You have no food. You only have water. Take the, um... Yeah, take the Boy Scout book. Why not? Bye. <laughs> Day 23. Mary Jane went outside. Let's hope she hurries back soon. She took the Boy Scout book. Dolores has barely any strength left. If she doesn't eat tonight, she will not last till morning, but she is cured from her illness. Just keep giving her water until the inevitable. The other day we heard a quiet knock on the door, but when we opened, we only found a suitcase on the doorstep and there was no one around. It isn't signed, but it sure looks like it's meant for us. Shall we check it? Sod it, why not? We're doomed anyway. <laughs> Probably bad, but... Day 24. Oh, she got sick again, of course. Damn it, the gift was booby trapped. There was nothing inside besides some junk, and as soon as we opened the suitcase, it exploded. Is anyone hurt? Oh dear. Yeah, Dolores is fucked. I'm sorry, she's just screwed. We're able to receive another message from the government. The military is preparing a rescue mission. They want all survivors to head to a specific location in the area, then leave a sign that someone is still alive and kicking nearby. The problem is they provided us with geographical coordinates, but we need a map to find out where we're supposed to be headed. Otherwise it's just complete gobbledygook. Well... Day 25, we're still alive. For now. We were sure we could find the location without a map. We were wrong. Hopefully we'll get lucky next time. Dolores has barely any strength left. If she doesn't eat tonight, she will not last till morning. Well, we can have water. Is that good enough? We're locked up and it's easy to grow tired of this situation. Doris has been looking rather down for a while now. She even refused to eat soup. How crazy is that? Well, no, it's not crazy because we have no soup. <laughs> it's hard to say if we can help her, but trying to cheer her up might be worth a shot. With book spray? I don't know how that's going to help, but whatever. The end. <laughs> Rip. Oh, we knew that was going to happen. Mary Jane was supposed to be back in a few days. It has been too long. We fear something bad has happened to her. Dolores bravely faced hunger. However, eating is a habit that is hard to shake off. She couldn't take it anymore. Of all places we could have perished, this is probably the best one. Or maybe not. 
We spent 26 days in our shelter. 26 days again. That's how long I lasted on the easy mode one. Guess that's the theme for tonight. Day one, all of us are safe. Day two, Ratatouille. Day four, bugs. Day six, dead air. Day seven, nuclear fallout has gone. Day 10, 10 on the Richter scale. Day 13, 911 still on duty. Hello and an unexpected call. Day 14, make contact with the military. Day 16, alternative diet. Day 19, the dark side. Day 21, stealing from thieves. Mary Jane went nuts. Dolores is insane. And Ted's illness was too much. Oh, also, secrets of the shelter. What happened on day 21? Day 23, Trojan horse. Day 24, lost in the neighborhood. Day 25, group therapy. Day 26, Mary Jane didn't return to us and we perished. Rip. You perished. They survived 26, water consumed 7.25, soup consumed 4, time to offend your shelter 0, 3 yes decisions, 1 no decision, and we had 3 out of 4 successful expeditions, and we brought 5 items back from expeditions. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, I hope you had fun, that was the normal mode of survival. Obviously it was another fail, but whatever, I mean it's all random at the end of the day. Uh, be sure to give me a follow on twitch.tv forward slash mythical canary for my live streams and also to subscribe here on YouTube because honestly every little helps. Um, if you want to check out my other, you know, sites like Coffee or Tumblr or anything, there's links in the description or the about page. Um, you'll find it somewhere. <laughs> um, but yeah. Honestly, I love this game. It's a lot of fun. I like doing the reading. Um, it's a lot easier than just sort of free-forming my words because I'm apparently not very good at that. <laughs> you know, it's one of those curses. I'm good at writing, but I'm terrible at speaking. Um, anyway, I hope that you're all staying safe and in our own little secluded lives while this um, current situation is going on with the um, pandemic. You know, just stay safe, look after your families and everything, and, you know, obviously reach out to um, the relevant places if you do need, like, help for your mental health, for your physical health, for your, um, just general health. Um, you know, stay safe, and I will see you all soon. And, you know, just have fun. Enjoy yourselves. Take care, everyone. <laughs>